Today we're going to learn about the five components of physical fitness. These five components are muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. Cardiovascular endurance is the ability of your heart and lungs working together to fuel your body with oxygen. Some examples of cardio exercise are jogging, swimming, and cycling. Cardiovascular endurance has a number of benefits. It strengthens the heart, lowers blood pressure, and it increases the amount of oxygen tissues are able to extract from circulating blood. Muscular strength is the amount of force a muscle can exert in one single effort. Muscle strength is achieved when you are able to lift loads in excess of 70% of your maximal strength. This is more weight and fewer reps. Muscular strength focuses on quick bursts of energy rather than long drawn out ones. Some exercises that would help with muscle strength would be bench press, leg press, and bicep curls. Muscular endurance is the ability of a muscle to perform a continuous effort without becoming tired. Muscular endurance is one's ability to perform many repetitions with a sub-maximum resistance over a given period of time. This is less weight and higher reps. It is important to pay attention to muscular endurance if you play any sort of sports or are involved in any sort of physical activity that lasts for quite a while. For example, such sports as hockey, football, tennis, and cross country. Muscular strength and endurance are important because they reduce the risk of injury, they help keep a healthy body weight, and lead to healthier and stronger muscles and bones. Flexibility is the ability of each joint to express its full range of motion. It's about balancing the muscle groups you use or overuse during exercise and other activities. Stretching improves performance and decreases the risk of injury, improves posture, improves muscle coordination, and enhances enjoyment of physical activity. Stretching is how flexibility is measured, for example, the lunge or the sit and reach. Body composition is the amount of body fat you have versus the amount of lean muscles, bones, and organs. Body composition is divided into two separate types of mass. Fat-free mass, which is comprised of all of the body's non-fat tissues, and body fat. Fat-free mass includes bone, water, muscle, and tissues. Body fat is literally fat located within the body. Some fat is necessary for overall health. It helps protect internal organs, provides energy, and regulates hormones that perform various functions in body regulation. But when someone is overweight or obese, they have an excessive amount of body fat. There are a variety of tests that are used to measure body composition. The most reliable is underwater weighing, but due to the size and expense, this type is not common. Many doctors, gyms, and health clubs use a pinch test instead. Now you know the five components to physical fitness. Following there is a short 10 question quiz you have to take so I know you understood the lesson. Good luck.